UFC Chip Sugar Shot of my life today. You get an exclusive look into my optimized morning routine that I use to become and stay the best in the world. We'll break everything down with what the benefits are, how much it would cost, and uh, for you to do it yourself. Good morning, people. First thing I like to do, I gotta let Kush out to go take a fat, massive dump. Morning, go let my chickens out. They've been sleeping all night. Just being good little princesses. So I let them out. They run around, do their little chicken thing. <laughs> Nothing better than some fresh, organic, quality eggs. Um, way better than buying store eggs. Uh, I like to treat my chickens to some mealworms. They're getting very excited about this. Oop, a little uh, stepped on one. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Atlanta painted these chicken picnic tables. It was an incredible father-daughter moment. Yep, yep, pack, pack. A little chicken order in the packing order. They know I'm the boss, though. They respect me. After I do that, I immediately go into my recovery room, hit my PEMF machine. A ton of benefits on this machine. I sit on it for about, I've been doing anywhere from an hour a day. I'll split it up in between 20 minute sessions, 30 minute sessions, or 40 minute sessions, depending on what I got going on. But every morning, minimum 20 minutes to start my day. It really feels good on my back and my whole body. So that's what I do first thing in the morning. I like to get some red light in my eye, move my spine around. I'm usually a little stiff after I wake up because I sleep like a baby. Give Kush some love, let him know he's a good wow. boy because he's a good boy. Stretch the old tits out a bit, make sure my hips are nice and lo loosened up, hit myself with the hypervolt if I want. Um, this is pretty much an average morning for the sugar show, ladies and gentlemen. Next, depending on when Elena wakes up, uh, she usually wakes up after me, comes Good running morning. in to the recovery room, or if I'm in the kitchen at the time, she'll come in and give me some love. <laughs> That's the best thing in the world, right there, in that moment. It's God dead. it's heaven on earth. I get hydrated. Usually I do that before I even uh, hit my machine, but in this instance, I hit the machines first. I'm getting hydrated after. I need to drink lots of water before I have my delicious coffee. I wait about an hour and a half. Andrew Huberman is smarter than me. He says to do it, and I listen. So I wait about an hour and a half before I start my caffeine intake. Danny's making some fresh eggs and bacon with a little toast, so this must have been a few weeks out. Look at me on my goddamn phone again. God damn it, edit that out, please. No, don't know, it's funny, it's funny. Uh, yeah, making avocado to see, that's what I'm craving right now, some avocado toast with a fresh egg on top. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Might crack open a rise, hit a couple sips, do a couple push-ups. God damn it, I'm on my laptop again. Wearing a sick Young LA jacket with some Young LA sweats. Get my supplements. Shout out Dan Garner. This is, uh, I do all my blood tests, saliva, a bunch of different tests to make sure I'm getting the right nutrients. And if I'm not, Garner has me supplementing with third party tested supplements. Don't be freaking around taking stuff you don't know. So I stick to uh, third party tested supplements. Wow, that looks incredible right now as I watch it back. Atlanta's eating bacon and strawberries she is mostly on the carnivore diet just because she wants to eat she likes to eat meat and fruits what the what is that no bite oh wow too cute too cute Elena is such a good eater she's been eating really good for a long time breastfed her for about i didn't danny did for a little over two years oh I'm showing danny Mary Jane, the dog I wasn't gonna get that I ended up getting. You like her? And uh, so we're, once what I get home, I have a new puppy. Hi. What the? Going back and looking when I was 44 days out from the algo fight. Like to read it, kind of how I was feeling, where my weight was at, what, I, what, what was going on in camp. I have about probably six or seven journals full of of fight camp stuff. I have all my weights from previous fights from the last about three weeks out. Tim got me this book. I can't really sit down and read for a super long time, <clears throat> but this book's actually pretty good to just kind of peck through. Stillness Speaks, this is literally a perfect book that's meant to just peck, peck through and read. Good way to start your day. I'll read whatever one I'm feeling, one of those two. And this one I try to read every day too, The Daily Dad. I try to do 10, 15, 20 minutes of every, I write one page a day in camp. 
and then I try to just kind of read through some shit. Try to do that. And if Elena's letting me hug her all morning, I'll take it because she's been getting sassy and she sometimes doesn't let me hug her. So if she lets me, I take advantage of that. Someone was in the back doing dishes. Great. Someone's been a great help to the Sugar Show life. Elena's constantly wanting to go outside, which is good. She also puts the shoes on the wrong feet, and 98% of the time here for uh, she's not, though. She wants to go outside and swing. That's what she wants to do pretty much every day. And her chickens, she's a little scared of the chickens, and she thinks it's hilarious when they play on her swing set. Beautiful day out in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Birds are chirping. Really try not to be on my phone uh, first thing in the, for a while in the morning. Elena absolutely loves Cushy Monster. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Filling up my water, grinding my beans freshly. If you buy grounded beans, it's like 40% less caffeine. Organic quality coffee. Got about two scoops in there, some heavy whipping cream, some organic honey, and I make some of the best coffee in the world. Shout out the Java House, Tim's Coffee Shop in Fiore, Arizona. Come say what's up. Uh, get a free coffee. Jokes can. <laughs> Pour it with precision and just delicacy and gentleness, and I spin it like a professional. While I sing. Oops, sorry. Let's sing her song. Can you sing it? Yeah. What? So you Put a little, sh a little bit, nothing too crazy. See, not a lot, just a whoa, a little bit. And then you froth it. Mm, froth it. Nothing better than froth milk and push that coffee down into it. <laughs> and it's just an incredible sight. I want to get all clear cups so I can see it. How, yep, see, I'm so, I knew I was gonna do that. I love to see it, I love to see it. So here I'm frothing the milk, the heavy whipping cream, and uh, I do it with such technique and precision. Oh, turbo! I flip it the upside down arrow press and just watch it. Oh. That tastes just as good as the boys. I swear to God. Oh, it's incredible! It is absolutely incredible. Oh, wow! I wish I could let everyone watching this try it. Except for you, Cheeto. I know you're watching. I wouldn't let you try my coffee, buddy. <laughs> I wouldn't let you try my coffee, even if you begged me. Jokes, I'll knock them out and I'll make them a little espresso in the morning. So that's that's that, that's my coffee. Uh, world famous, many magazines I've been in for that. Uh, not quite as good as the Java House though. Here in Boca, Peoria, Tim said you come in, tell him you heard this and he'll give you 10 free coffees. Boom, frothing it, got a little honey in there, a little heavy whipping cream and a little uh, in, in, some, in the coffee. It's not a whole lot that goes into it. It's very quality. Watch, I guarantee I love it. Decent. Yep, I was right. God damn it. Apparently. I'm being humble. It's fucking incredible. See, I knew I was lying. I was fucking knew I was lying. I tricked myself, god damn it. Some Vitargo, some carb powder for uh, getting through the workouts. You know what I'm saying? That's a good little uh, energy booster. Pre-workout, mid-workout, post-workout. I've been doing it pre mostly. Okay. Give it a nice little shake. Again, we're on a fire on my lay jacket. Blueberries.